Uh, my name is Wolfgang Kleinwächter. I'm from the University of Aarhus, and I was a member of the WIGIC. And with all respect, Jeremy, um, I think you misread the uh, WIGIC report if it comes to your interpretation what the WIGIC has proposed. I think we in the WIGIC we had a clear distinction between the so-called forum function and the oversight function. Uh, the forum function was not to have a new body which drafts policy, but a body, you know, which inspires policy, which contributes to policy development and does not policy development as such. The other function was the oversight function. This was the idea more that, you know, in a process or in a model, we had four models, if you remember, that, you know, this would be a place for policy development. But governments could not agree, and they agreed there should be a process. And in the process, they will develop all kinds of hard or soft policy or whatever. Because if it comes to instruments, this is negotiated by governments. And governments have enough places around the globe where they are sitting in various bodies and can draft documents. I think if you would uh, bring the function to draft instruments, that means to agree about language in the IGF, you would kill the IGF. Because it's exactly the, the, the fact that the IGF does not negotiate, which liberates the way of thinking, which gives people more space to express them freely, you know, and to say, okay, that's my contribution to the debate. And this contribution inspires then others to go home in their body where they have a mandate and then to draft policy, soft or hard policy. And here I see an interesting development within the IGF because the dynamic coalitions are not directly linked to the IGF. It's an outcome of the IGF. In your paper, you propose that it should be like an official recognized working group of the IGF. This would kill the dynamic coalitions. The dynamic coalitions are independent bodies inspired by the IGF, linked to the IGF, but the dynamic coalitions can work on documents, on recommendations. It's up to them. There are governments, private sector, civil society groups in a dynamic coalition. I'm in the Bill of Rights dynamic coalition. If there comes a Bill of Internet Rights out of this, this could be a soft policy document. This would be fine. So, but be very Thanks, careful sir, with this proposal. I Sorry, um, I, I went to too long. Okay. Uh, so just while we're handing the microphone to the next speaker, just to open Wolfgang's mind and defend Jeremy, uh, the Caribbean Internet Forum, the granddaddy of all regional Internet Forum, created six years ago, so predating the IGF at the global level, has developed an Internet governance uh, framework, has drafted documents, can be done at a local level. It, so I'm, not, I'm saying it's, it's a, a matter of choice, whether that is a, appropriate or not at the global level. Uh, next speaker. Uh, thank you, George Papadatos, uh, representing the Greek government here, uh, in a minority position, of course, as Bill Graham has said. Uh, and I want to come back briefly to uh, uh, th some of the points that he has made. Uh, I agree fully that uh, there is uh, some kind of lining interest, in, uh, interest uh, regarding governments in this forum. Uh, and I have some reasons for that, uh, which I have experienced personally. Uh, my involvement throughout the WISIS was to support actively as a bureau member the participation of NGOs and civil society in, 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 in very dramatic ways, the split sessions in, uh, in Tunis, uh, uh, bypassing some of the rules and so forth. Then what I found out when the IGF was created is that the whole thing took the dimension of a Western movie. The bad guys were the governments, and the good guys were all the others. So you are viewed with suspicion here when you are a member of a government because uh, you participate in fora that uh, decisions are made, that there are long negotiations. The UN has taken a completely different view, uh, and and I, I found I found out that you know most of the times uh, governments are are not are not all that welcome yet. The funding comes from governments, yet the decisions are made by governments, and if there is any policy uh, influence uh, of this body through ideas, it should be through the governments. Um, I, I agree that, uh, that uh, a lot of things have been done in, in academia, that, uh, and probably some ideas may come from there and influence policy. But... Um, the, the other problem is that it's very difficult for uh, two or three people from governments here to evaluate fully what is going on because we have this fragmented workshops, main sessions. The reporting process can be very cumbersome. 
and I'm saying this, I'm making a report to my government. I try to give a full reflection of what's going on here, but it's very difficult to, to capture. So, uh, and, and I think that if this process is taken over completely, in the end, if governments lose interest, and you have NGOs, civil society, and private business, there are so many fora around the world that are, are not unique like this one. Here, you need to maintain the original balance, bring the governments back in, and, and continue to find more um, imaginative ways of working together. Thank you. Thanks. Just a point of clarification. Were you suggesting that a, a workshop summary report or uh, where something was needed to facilitate government uh, understanding or evaluation no, of the... Uh, I think that all of us should, should think, uh, first of all, uh, Bill highlighted this as an issue. I have highlighted this as an issue in private conversations. And I think all of us should think collectively how the governments can come back in. Uh, it was mentioned that very few African governments uh, um, uh <coughs> participate here. Uh, I, I also happened the other day to uh, uh, talk to a, a, a senior level of a major uh, software corporation, and he had some doubts as to whether he was going to participate next year. Yeah. So, uh, so but I, I, okay, I didn't hear a specific uh, yeah. solution, but I, yeah. we hear the, the problem. So let's 